Five years ago, the Rockport Fulton area was severely damaged by Hurricane Harvey, but recovery efforts have it looking better than ever. Our Brandon Schaff tells us about one Rockport resident's unique way to commemorate the city's recovery. It's been five years since Hurricane Harvey's devastation in Texas. Rockport was one of the communities hit hard by the storm, and many still wonder about the recovery. People still ask, are you recovered? What was it like? We have so many questions from people who uh, have never been through a hurricane. Sandy Jumper works on the Rockport Fulton Chamber of Commerce. After seeing what Harvey did to her community, she wanted to create an exhibit at the Chamber of Commerce building to give people an idea of what it was like. We want it to be interactive where people can come in and be able to touch and feel and realize what it's like to actually go through something like that because it's, it's a tragedy that you cannot imagine. Jumper's home was severely damaged by the storm. While she was able to evacuate in time, when she returned, little was left. But what she did find while cleaning glass from the area a bottle of wine her brother had gifted her years before. And it looked like it was buried underneath the ground. It was after a rain, and I started digging to get the piece of glass out, and lo and behold, it was the bottle of wine that my little brother gave me, so now I have something to keep as a memento. That bottle will be one of the artifacts on display in the new exhibit. She encourages anyone who has something they found to donate it to the Chamber of Commerce, and that all types of items are welcome. As for the community's recovery since 2017, Jumper says it's inspiring. We lost so much, so many buildings, so many homes. People had things destroyed, but it was the best of times because you, you saw the not only the community come together, but you also saw people from all over the state, all over the United States, coming in, bringing help. Donated items are currently being accepted and will be until late spring. And those with iconic and historical significance are particularly encouraged. Brandon Schaff, 3 News.